Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, founder of Live Pigeon, Brandon Fisher! What is going on, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, we've been putting out a bunch of stuff, kind of hyping this up, but we're so glad that you're here joining us live today. And a uh, really cool announcement that I wanted to share with you today. But before we get into that, uh, I wanted to share with you kind of like the timeline, if you will, like where... How long has Live Pigeon been around for and like all these things, right? So basically, I just want to let you know, we started this four years ago and it's been such a fun journey. There's been some ups and some downs and I wanted to share that with you today so you can kind of get a better understanding of who we are as a company and kind of the, of course, the excitement of today's announcement, which will tell you where we're going to be heading. And so uh, one thing I wanted to show you is we launched back in March of 2017. Uh, Facebook Live has been around for about five years now. And what's cool about that was figuring out how to be able to take your videos and to go live with them where you didn't actually have to be live. And this was something that I wanted to set out and do because uh, this was a big frustration in my own life. And this was actually an answer to that. And so basically, we've been developing since March of 2017. We then launched Live Pigeon back in July of 2017. And it was really cool to, to get our first customers coming through and to hear customer feedback and like people were liking it. And it was so fun. Then what happened was in August of 2017, Mark Zuckerberg went in front of Congress and he basically kind of got slapped with what they were doing, which then made them readjust the way that they were doing third-party applications. And so, unfortunately, we actually lost the ability to go live to Facebook. And this actually got us to go back and think like, okay, we only have this one pillar of our business that we're able to go live to, and that just got knocked out. In fact, we were down from August and we didn't get back up and running again until October. And some of you probably know this because some of you have, have been on since the beginning, but I wanted to let you know that that was like a scary time for us. And so we had to go and figure out like, okay, how can we, how can we go and add more places to go live so that we can be more stable in case this ever happens again? And so through all of that, we, we developed and we were able to go live to YouTube, which was awesome. Uh, that also helped. And anyways, we just continued to keep working on and refining the software as things continued to go, go along and progress. Then what happened was three years later, uh, in April of 2020, this was like right after the pandemic hit, um, we, our phones were just blowing up because what happened was when the pandemic first hit, we had a bunch of churches reaching out to us and they were like, hey, we're trying to take our videos to go live for Easter Sunday. And I was devastated because at the time to go live on our platform, you had to upload your video to us and then you had to then schedule it to go live to Facebook. And then if you wanted to go live to then YouTube, what you had to do is you had to upload your video file again, the exact same video to our service again to then schedule to YouTube. And it just wasn't efficient and it wasn't the way in which we wanted it either. And yet we were able to take all of the frustration and all of the, the issues that we had that day with our customers. And that's when we decided to come out with the incubator. And the incubator basically is your video library. This is when you upload your videos inside of Live Pigeon, you can then access them multiple times. Or you can now say, hey, I wanna go live with this one video to now multiple destinations. And so that was, uh, that was really cool how something that was kind of negative that happened, this was the answer to that. And so the other thing is after the pandemic hit, me and my wife were trying to figure out what is it that we're going to do because when the pandemic first hit, we actually saw a decrease in our customers. And it got to the point where we only had 25 customers on our platform. And you know, this is something that I have been passionate about and I've been putting a lot of time, resources into this. And each month I would say, okay, this is the month. We, we're trying new uh, Facebook ads or we're trying new ways to try to get uh, 
people's attention so that they know that we're even here. It's the number one thing we hear is, oh my gosh, how long have you guys been in business for? And it, f- for us to say we've been in business for four years, it's like, I never even knew about you. And so we're doing our best to try to get our message out there, much like you are. Um, but sometimes it's difficult to do that. And so I just remember being there in our, my bedroom with my wife as we're trying to figure out. She was just really concerned, like, what what's the future going to be when the pandemic hit? And she wanted to have a conversation. And I knew that that conversation was going to be, maybe we don't continue uh, Live Pigeon anymore. And that was really difficult for me because I'm trying to, as a business owner and as an entrepreneur, I'm trying to make sure, like, I don't, I don't want us to fail. I don't want us to have to shut down. And so I just said, look, I just want to try to stay positive. If we can put, you know, put this off, let's, let's try to talk about this at a later date. She said, fine, you just let me know when that date is. And we discussed and she wrote May 15th on our whiteboard. And I'll never forget because I was trying to stay positive to make sure that we're doing everything possible, right? And by me being like, by me delaying that um, and by her putting that on there, I think it was the May, the first part of May hit and uh, a video that we've been working with uh, one of the YouTube influencers kind of took off and we just saw a huge number, a huge spike hit. And ever since then, we never actually had the talk, but I have that whiteboard reminder of what almost happened. We almost considered shutting down Live Pigeon. And I'm coming to you live today to let you know that I'm so grateful for my, my wife's love and support. Um, I mean, we've been putting time, energy, and effort into this for three years And to not have it really go yet, um, that was definitely eye-opening. And I'm very much appreciative of her and her support so that uh, we, we, again, we kind of pushed things off a little bit. And now where we're at today is really incredible. So let's share, let's kind of break some of that down a little bit. So as of April this year, uh, we have actually hit over 45,000 lives changed. Now, this is a metric that me and my team use uh, to basically track how we're doing. Uh, we love being able to help you to get your message out into the world. And this is the metric that we use to track that. And it's really fun to just see how many, you know, how many more destinations can we add or how many uh, more videos can we get out there and how can we help support you in being able to do that. The other cool thing is we've served over 3,000 customers, which is super cool. I absolutely love the fact that we've been able to see so much growth uh, this last year. So over the last three years, I have actually been answering the phones myself. And it's been fun for me to be able to actually hear what customers are wanting and what they're saying. And since then, we've, we've hired more customer support, which has been great. Um, but through that process, I've actually been able to hear what it is that you're wanting from our software. Uh, when we first launched, you know, we only were going live to Facebook. And then a lot of you were asking for YouTube. So then we made that happen. And then you wanted multi-stream. So we made that happen. And so it's just been really fun. And that's all of this led up to today. This big launch that we wanted to let you guys know. This big announcement that we have. And in fact, what I want to do is share with you a video right now that's going to show you what we've been working on for the last six months. So let's cue the video. Hey, it's Brandon from Live Pigeon, and I'm excited to tell you about the newest Live Pigeon update. Along with the visual overhaul, it now includes full HD 1080p streaming, enhanced stream key options, a smarter way to embed your live videos, and much more. We've heard you loud and clear. You want more clarity and assurance. We're introducing brand new functionality for video uploads. First up, we've enhanced the Incubator, our video library service. It's been great for quick uploads, but in 3.1, you can now preview your videos before sending them live and rename them to stay organized. Giving you ultimate confidence and peace of mind. Also new to the Incubator is video download, allowing creators to download their videos directly from the app. 
The new Smart Embed page includes new features for automatically embedding content onto your website. Fully automated, designed to set it and forget it. Smart Embed utilizes one link and will automatically choose and play your latest live video on the linked channel. When it comes to streaming your content, we make sure you have all the controls you need. Up next, we're the only ones who have implemented Instagram Live. You can now connect your Instagram account alongside Facebook and YouTube directly in Live Pigeon. Streaming simulated live video to Instagram has never been easier. And for those that want to go live to other platforms, we've added even more flexibility for stream keys. For ease of use, you can now save a stream key as a destination. Gone are the days of relentless copying and pasting stream keys. We've also enhanced the dashboard navigation with a brand new notifications tab and revamped the toolbar for maximum convenience. Last but not least, we brought even more content into the Live Pigeon Academy that we know you're going to love. These are just the highlights of Live Pigeon 3.1, but there is plenty more to discover. Dive in and let us know what you think. We love hearing from you. Isn't that amazing? Now you guys, you have to admit, I have this new look because we also have this new announcement that we're doing. We have a new look and I cannot wait to talk about it today. So let's discuss what the new look is, okay? That video kind of went over things very fast, but this was basically, if in case you don't know, this was our old interface. This is how things looked when you were actually scheduling out videos. Now let's do this in contrast with the new Look, there it is. Isn't that beautiful? I absolutely love the way this looks. Our team worked so hard on this and it looks incredible. The fact also is that we're able to now take this and to have these amazing tools that we can also use from mobile devices that will also function and work so much better than the old way that we had things. So I'm excited for the new look. Uh, this has been something that I couldn't wait to share with you. Let's also break down all the other things that we have. So we have 1080p streaming. Now again, this is up to 1080p streaming because Facebook actually, you can still only go live up to 720p, but on our side, we're delivering it as 1080. And so uh, YouTube now, you have the ability to stream 1080 or to any other platform that you're going live to. So this is a pretty cool uh, feature that we've added. Let's discuss the new incubator. The features inside there we have, we can now view your video inside of the incubator. This is something that we didn't have before. Uh, it was kind of uh, interesting. You'd upload your video and there was just a thumbnail of the video. Sometimes it was on black, so you might not know what it was. Now you have the ability to click on it to make sure that the video is actually in our servers and that you can actually play it back. The other thing is we added the ability to be able to download your videos. This was also big for us because we had a lot of people who were in a team environment who one person might be uploading their video and the other person, for whatever reason, might need to download it. So again, we have that ability now built in. Let's discuss rename. Uh, this was something where if you uploaded a video file that had a bunch of numbers and characters, um, we would take it and it would work. But the problem is you might want to be able to actually name it something so that you don't get confused and that you can actually go live with the video file that you intended to. So that's a really cool feature that we added as well. Now we can talk about Smart Embed. Now Smart Embed, this was a feature that came from churches actually. Uh, they wanted the ability to be able to uh, embed their live video, uh, whether from Facebook or from YouTube. And so we gave them the ability to do that. Um, so there it is, it's called Smart Embed. And again, you, all you have to do is you go in there and you can copy it and paste it into your website and that's it. The hard part for us is how do we continue to have an easy to use platform, but yet how do we do it in a way that you are able to still be able to do things easily without adding too much complexity, right? So that's what we've done. This is only if you need it, the ability to be able to embed onto your website. Next up, we are gonna go and talk about, again, this is something that I've been super excited for. This is something that we've been developing over the last couple months. And this was really the thing that made me decide, man, we need to do this on a stage. We need to make the actual official announcement on this because this is a big deal, you guys. This right here is the ability to go live on Instagram 
inside of Live Pigeon. So let's break that down. Let's discuss how people are able to go live currently using Instagram, okay? There is a third-party app. I'm sure you're familiar with this, and, but if you're not, it's called Yellow Duck, and it actually had the ability where you could go and get a stream key. You could then take that, paste it into Live Pigeon. But the problem was you actually couldn't schedule when you wanted it to go live because there was like a time limit where it, it would actually expire. And so we got a lot of frustration from a lot of customers because they were under the impression that we could go live to Instagram, and we can. But it wasn't a very good, um, it w just wasn't a very good way to go live because there's frustration. And so for us to be able to use a third party and for us to now be able to bring that in-house, we now have the ability to go live with it using your smartphone. So again, these are all the benefits of how you can now take your videos and go live to Instagram. And I'm so excited for you to be able to jump in today and use it for yourself. So we also have new content inside of our academy. I don't know if you know this, but we actually built out something called the Live Pigeon Academy. The whole goal and purpose of this is how can we educate you on being able to help get your message out? And whether that's, you know, uh, a sh the show builder, which is, you know, how can you create a show online or whether it's just publishing strategies, just the ability to be able to take your content and publish it to all the different platforms. How do you use it? When do you use it? We cover all of that inside of publishing strategies. So let's go ahead and recap everything that we covered today because that video went over everything pretty fast, right? So we have brand new incubator features. We've got the ability to rename. You can download your videos and we even have the ability now where you can preview your videos, which is really cool. We have the smart embed feature. This is really cool if you're trying to take your videos and also embed them somewhere else like your website. Up to 1080p, streaming now this is really cool if you're i'm guessing you're already using this but just the ability that we can take higher resolutions and deliver those uh live is amazing next is the new stream key option this is something that's going to be coming out later in the year uh stay tuned on that in fact the best way for you to find out information from us is to make sure that you subscribe to us right whether that's on youtube facebook or instagram uh, we want to make sure that you know all the things that we're coming out with. Sometimes those emails don't go through, so we want to make sure that you follow us on all these other places so that when we do come out with a new feature, you'll be newly updated on that. So, And of course, last but not least, this is my favorite one, the whole reason why we did this whole thing, which is the ability to go live on Instagram using Live Pigeon and that everything is in-house in one app is absolutely incredible. So... What I want you to do, you guys, is to go and experience this today. Before I, st I stepped up on the stage today, uh, we actually went and we pushed this live because we want you to be able to experience it. So what I want you to do now is to give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, reach out to us. We really do want to figure out what is the best way to serve you, whether that's you jumping on a social media, whether that's you texting us, calling us, we definitely want to make sure that you feel supported because we do care about you and we are excited for the future of Live Pigeon. Excited to be able to be here today. Thank you so much for this, you guys. So go and check that out today. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for tuning in on this live video. Until next time.